This movie is a very fast overview of the conceptual energy analysis process. The idea is to show you a little bit of modeling, how you set values that affect the building performance, the energy settings, and then how you run reports. This is the cyclic process that you repeat many times as you refine the, the design itself. Uh, you're going to see creation of geometry um, for the building, different techniques. You can see uh, that it uses the DOE2 energy analysis engine. This is from inside Green Building Studio. Um, it's this, so Vasari, Revit are using the same DOE2 analysis engine to, to analyze the building performance. The idea behind this is that you're going to try and optimize the building form, its orientation, its layout, um, values like say those for insulation or percentage glazing. If you can isolate the form giving factors or the, the, the factors that most affect uh, energy performance, then you can run a report and see what the consequences of changes are. So you would focus on a variable like percentage glazing, run several reports and arrive at a conclusion that then gives you a direction for the future development of your design. Summarizing all of that, this illustration shows that in the model you'd be able to set the location, create the mass model itself, there's different techniques. Apply floors, that's the way of telling it that you're going to analyze the particular building that has floors applied with energy settings that you can define. Simulate the DOE2 uh, analysis by running the software. Visualize the reports and compare them one against another. And then really from your conclusions that you draw from the results and the comparison of those results, you decide what variable you want to change and go back and repeat the design cycle process to help you move towards your, your uh, optimum solution. This is an overview of the design cycle. The idea being that there are about five phases that you'd go through. The first being that you're going to establish a location. That you're then going to model the building. You're then going to apply floors to the building, which is your way of telling the software wh which mass form you actually want to analyze. You can establish settings, energy settings relative to the building on a macro scale. For example, what type of building is it? What's the occupancy? Um, or what type of construction is applied to the faces of the building? And then you do the actual analysis. So you can then you would repeat that cycle later of maybe changing the model, applying floors, changing settings on a micro scale rather than a macro scale, and then analyzing again and then comparing reports to see if you're move, moving in the right direction towards a more energy efficient building. So first step, all I want to show is that if you're on the view cube and you click on the location, Boston, Massachusetts, set location, um, you know, at this point, all I'm pointing out is that the red icon is your project and you can move that to any location in the world. Um, adjacent to that, you'll see that there are blue icons that are weather stations and there's some information on the, the elevation. Um, if the closest weather station, which is the one that's showing in the orange color, isn't the appropriate one because of maybe a, a change in terrain, you, you can double click on the other weather stations to make them the active weather station. But the point is that the project has established longitude and latitude and the weather station has, has gotten information on the uh, local climate for you. Having established the location and I want to create a building form, uh, I'm going to do this by creating a mass inside the project. This is not the only way that you can create the building form, but this is a simple example. I'm going to take the rectangle tool. I'm watching that I'm drawing on level one. And in this case, I'm just going to make a surface as I draft. So if I snap to the intersection and I'm, I don't even care about the dimensions, I'm just going to draw a rectangle and then hit escape. Um, I'm then going to select on the, the sketch that I created 
and I can use some options. I can either say create form or in this case I can use the handles to drag it up. If you watch uh, the levels in the project you'll actually see them highlight as I, as I reach that level. So if I wanted it to be the four stories high here I can wait till it's highlighted. I see a, a green line that uh, shows me that it's aligned and then I can stop the the push-pull operation and I've now got a building form that is uh, four stories high. Now at that point I can say finish the mass. So I was in an editing mode and I've now completed making the mass form for my building which in this case is only one mass form. Having created the mass form, I now want to let the software know what it is I'm analysing. So I select on the mass form itself. I go to the mass floors option and I check on the boxes that represent the floors that I want to cut through my building. In this case, one through floor. I'm ready now to proceed with the next step. Now that I've applied mass floors to the mass itself, I'm ready to move to the stage where I analyse the building. If I click on the Analyze tab, what I want to look at is the energy settings. So when I look at the energy settings, I'm just going to go with all the defaults and I'll explain these options in more detail in a later movie. But if I click on the Create Energy Model, I'm ready to do the analysis. It'll have uh, an idea of what the construction of the building is and what the R values are what percentage glazing, um, what kind of activity is going on and think of this as on the micro level you're setting uh, energy settings for the whole building. If I click OK I can see those applied to the building and if I go to the an Analyze tab you'll see that I can choose to look at the building in its original state as a mass form or with surfaces applied to the building itself or with zones, the zones being really uh, activities within the floor, within the spaces within the building. I'm going to go back to the option that says show my surfaces and I'm ready to do an analysis.